House chair coach Joe Mihalik, freshman Eli Pemberton, and senior Deron Powers. Coach, an opening statement about today's game, please. I thought we did what we had to do today. I mean, we our battle cry coming into this was to respect the game and respect yourself and and uh, always respect the opponent. And, and I thought we did that, and we, uh, we, uh, we did what we had to do. Questions? Eli, six assists for you in this game. Just talk about how you were seeing the court and how you were finding your teammates. Uh, coach, really, uh, just calling out the plays and trying to just make sure I get the pass and not turn it over uh, more than I already did. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, looking for Rock because he has to, you know, he's uh, he works so hard for us on the defensive end, the offensive end. Coach is always telling us to go get offensive rebounds, but uh, me and the wings are lacking on that. And Rock makes up for it big time, so we got to reward him. Duran, why here? Why transfer here? Why is this? The um, well, in the summertime, just talking to uh, Coach Mahalik and uh, a lot of other staff, I just felt real comfortable like, out of all my decisions. This is one of the schools I really felt like a, it was a family type, and I felt like they were going to take basketball really serious, and it was going to help me get to the main club. So. How do you feel like you're doing in terms of uh, like integrating into their system, their group of people? Um, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Um, I would like to definitely be doing a lot better, but I think for the start of the season, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. But... Hopefully down the, uh, down the stretch, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get a lot better. And in, in terms of, I don't know if it's possible, but can a person, I mean, you're an experienced player, played in an NCAA tournament. Can you join a team and provide leadership, or does the fact that you're new prevent that from happening? Um, I don't think so too much because, I mean, last year sitting out, um, I got a chance to learn the system and learn the players and stuff like that and learn the coaching staff. So... I feel like coming in, I kind of gained that respect from uh, sitting out last year. And coming in, we got a lot of new players, so I didn't think it was too hard. But I think it's, I, don't, I shouldn't have a problem. Definitely leading the team. So. No, Eli, you, it's your first year, too, uh, mm -hmm. playing. Uh, as far as, you know, catching up with the difference between the high school game and the college game, although you, you played a good high school program, you know, in terms of getting used to the college game, how do you think you're doing with it? Oh, I'm doing all right. Um, you know, there's a lot to learn. There's so much I got to learn. I'm always, uh, you know, thirsty for knowledge of the game. So uh, uh, just the team, I got a whole bunch of seniors and juniors around me that played the game for a long time. So I'm just learning from them. And um, part of the reason why I chose it, I got a great coaching staff. So they're teaching me as well. I also have a speedy Claxton who played at all three levels. Great. So, you know, just I'm just learning and developing right now. And that's, that's all I can do right now. Joe? These two guys sort of step into roles that were filled by your top players last year. Um, You're asking a good question. You know? I mean, this is <laughs> I mean, <it's> professional <laughs> sports writer. <laughs> um, but, but they're not always great in it. I like it. Uh, in, in terms of in terms of these guys stepping into the roles of the pr pretty much the two best players from last year's team. You know, how much is on them? Uh, well, let's start with how much is on. Yeah, and, and really, it is a great question. It's, it's, it's it, it, it kind of it's kind of, it's kind of where we are right now, and I have such great respect for these guys, and maybe unfairly thought it would be it, they could, we, we wouldn't miss a beat. But you know, as you're as you're suggesting, and in, in 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 reference to that, like you know, Wanye Green, Duran's got to step in and be the next Wanye Green. It's going to it's going to take him a couple games. That's all, and I think we're on our way now. I really do. And Elijah's got to be in the intention, and he's I think he's on his way too. So um, we are going through that right now. It's it's we're getting better all the time. You know, you always hope going into the season that that you're not going to miss those guys as much. But man, those guys were all all so good. It's just going to take a few games. That's what's happening to us right now. Let Nick one second. All right, coaches. From the second half of Vermont to last game against South Dakota to today, how do you think the defense is now starting to find itself? Yeah, we feel like the last five halves we've been, we've been we've been a lot we've been. You know, playing some good basketball, uh, not just defensively, but but offensively too. So, you know, really, really, we we scored it against Bradley. That's obvious. We scored 92 points. We just didn't guard them. Uh, one bad half down there. Uh, one really bad half down there. You know, Vermont's pretty good. I hate to say that they are pretty good, uh, but we it, 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 it's a good point. We're, our last five halves were pretty good. Coach, you got three games until Kentucky at the Barclays Center. What would you say is what would you say is the main thing to focus on in the next three games to improve on heading against the number one team? The main thing is to not even think about Kentucky at all. That's the main thing. Okay. Uh, you know, shoot, we, we, we got a we got a tough crosstown game coming up on Tuesday, and that's all we're thinking about.
All we're thinking about is, I just said to the team, I said, the last chance we had to go across town and win a game, we, 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 it was a clunker. So uh, we're hoping we can be a lot better on Tuesday night when we go play Columbia. And that's all, I mean, I know it sounds like coach talk, but that's all we're thinking about. So. 22 assists on 31 baskets for the, for the game. You guys were half of those assists. Was there uh, any kind of a pre-game focus on dis distribution or making the extra pass or looking for people? Um, I, we talked about it a lot before the game on what you know what passes are going to be open off screens and things like that. But I feel like today we just went out and played and we made the open passes. I think we just we just made those plays today. You um I think only had five or six assists coming into the game, right? Yeah. And here you are, doubling it. Mm -hmm. uh, was was making extra passes an important thing for you to be focusing on, or did it just was it just sort of naturally came out of the flow of the game? It just, it just comes to the flow of the game. Um, you know, I don't try to force anything, and that's uh, that's really I just try to play, and whatever's open, I just just take it. You know, that's that's pretty much that. Okay. Joe, how eager are you for Tuesday and kind of see if what started to take root the last two games, last five halves, like you said, can you carry it over against the really good uh, Ivy League team? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's what we talked about in, in the locker room there. The, the five good halves. We've been talking about it in here a little bit. Um, you know, it, it's got to be some carryover. I, I, I know it was a Division three team, but still, it's the second game in a row where you know we held teams, we held a team in the fifties. Uh, I don't know that we can do that all the time, but you know, we can. Uh, we can be better defensively, and, and so we'll see what we can do Tuesday. Yeah, good point. I just want to know if it's Jack or Lou back there. That's a Mets Jack. Guy. <laughs> we see a lot of Mets, no Philly shirts back there for these guys. Let's We're like, done with the press conference. He's what, what, <laughs> what happened back there? What happened to Philly shirts? Jack, you want to come down and shake their hands? Yeah. Come down and shake your hands. How, how great is it to see like Borchoff and a Mets? No,